welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. I'm pretty competitive. I can be cocky, but for the most part, I like to just think I'm confident and assertive. Besides the fact that I want to just kick people's ass on television, I do want the money a lot. I'm a triathlete, and I only started doing triathlons um, based on fear. And I was fearful of the water, and I went out there and started competing, and I love it. I want to be on Fear Factor for the chance to either embarrass myself or to embarrass someone else along the way. I'm not afraid to find out my opponent's weak spots and hit them where it hurts. I'm an Olympic hopeful. I run the 400 meters in track and field. My dream goal is to go to the 2004 Olympics in Athens, Greece. I work as a firefighter paramedic for the Sylvania, Ohio Fire Department. Being a firefighter paramedic is undeniably the greatest job in the world. We just had a save on a three-year-old little girl and brought her back to life. It makes it all worthwhile. Both my brother and sister are in the military. I'm the one that has gone a completely different route, and I'm here to prove to my family and everyone else that I'm just as tough as they are. Six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. Now to win the money, you're gonna have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt the stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you succeed, you move on to the next round and you are that much closer to the cash. Ready to see your first stunt? Let's do it. Let's see it. Bring it on. All right. Let's do it. Your first stunt takes place here at the San Bernardino Sheriff's Training Facility in this urban <laughs> assault building. Oh, great. Nice. Throughout so this sweet. building, there are six flags. You will each enter the building and locate the flags. By the way. <laughs> You will first have to get past these trained attack dogs in order to activate the flags. The two men and the two women that activate the flags and get out of the building the fastest will move on to the next round. The others will be eliminated. We have randomly selected who gets to go first. Brandy, you are lucky number one. Brandy. Yeah. What's happening? How you feeling? I'm feeling great right now. You're obviously, you're in shape. Yes, you're athletic. I run track. I'm vying for the 2004 Olympics. Oh, oh yeah. so you're really fast? Yes. You good at getting away from dogs? I hope so. <laughs> okay, come on, we're gonna get you suited up. All right, come cool. on. <laughs> 
So Chad, you're a fireman? Yes, firefighter paramedic. Really? Yes. Have you ever been around one of these uh, urban assault? <laughs> yes, I have. Really? I've seen what they can do. Do you guys practice stuff in here, like how to get people out of situations and I've fires and stuff? I've been trained on uh, what to do around the dogs, you know. Really? Basically don't get near them. All right, she's all suited up, so uh, I'm going to go send her off. Want to wish her luck? No. No? no? Not, <laughs> Not at all? So yeah, yeah, good luck. Damn! <laughs> Run really fast. The dogs Just like come that. out to the other side. Just give them a hug. <laughs> Right before a competition, I usually breathe, um, kind of do a replay in my head about what I'm about to do, what I need to do, and what uh, I want to accomplish. And as long as my mental's right, in most cases, I'm able to get the job done. Wait, so your face is completely open? Your face is completely uncovered? Yeah. That's going to leave a mark. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. This is Let's it? do it. OK, here we go. In three, two, one, go! Twenty-seven seconds. Wow, that's pretty yeah, swift. That's pretty Thanks. Which dog bit you the hardest? The first dog. The first dog. Yes. Yeah, that's the welcome dog. <laughs> you welcomed me very well. All right. Well, your time's a minute and twenty-seven seconds. Very good. Are you ready? Let's Are you go, ready Kate. right now? Good. I'm ready. Come Let's with do me, it. my dear. Let's do it. That's not very inspiring, right there. When you're all breathing hard and like you're gonna pass out. I think she's really freaked out about it. All right, what is your motivation for doing the show? Um, to prove to everybody that I'm uh, not, you know, just the middle child that gets ignored. My brother and sister are in the military, um, and I'm not, so I just need to prove myself. Really? To them or to your parents? Uh, more to them. More to them. Here we go, Kate. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Nice work. 
And what are you? Huh? 127. I'm you gotta impressed. beat me. Kay, get over here. I'm coming, I'm coming. You surprised us. <laughs> you surprised the crap out of me. 114. <laughs> nice job. Wow. Look at you. How'd it go? It went all right. Went yeah? All right. Any advice for Lana? Just run, keep your head up, know where you are, count your flags. You ready, Lana? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, Brandy, this is it. Yep. She beats one minute, 27 seconds. You're going home. Yep. All right, Lonnie, you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Come on, three, Lana. two, one, go. Uh. Two of the doors she didn't open. She left two flags in the room. Look at the flag right here is not up. Flag right here, not up. She missed two flags. I'm just inside right now. Congrats. Thanks, baby. You made it through. <laughs> I was not counting the flags. That was the key thing because there's so many things going on inside the room. Running to the next one, running to the next one, and just running. I should have stopped after the second one and saw two doors, but I didn't. I just ran past them. Well, Lana, I'm sorry. I, it wasn't that bad. It was just I didn't I didn't know. I don't think it's gonna bug me. It'll disappoint me because it would be so nice to pay my bills off. But I was there, I got the opportunity. I just didn't make the cut. I wasn't nervous up until now. Why are you nervous? Because I didn't want to go home early. Yeah. Alright, Billy, what's up, man? Listen to those dogs barking. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm excited. I'm not excited. I'm excited yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they sound real excited. I right think now. they're looking forward to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, finally, a dude. They're like, I'm gonna bite him in his ass. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go, Billy. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Bulldogs on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I say the bulldog? Was like, oh my god. I'm really tired, but, <laughs> but I think I'm in. Wow, you, you're they way are, more they tired are. than they are. You were yeah. way more tired than the girls were. Now, what happened with the Doberman? They said the Doberman locked on your oh, ass. My ass, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was clear, and then all of a sudden it bit me in the ass. I was like, what the hell? Dude took a hunk oh, of his booty. <laughs> look, Billy, you gonna be okay? Yeah. All right, Chad. 
You just saw Billy do it in one minute and nine seconds. Yeah, it's a really good time. Yeah. I'm hoping to beat it. You gotta beat it, man. Come on, right? Come on. I'm definitely not walking. The bite in your ass. You're gonna get another bite in your ass. <laughs> Is that gonna be the bite that's gonna send him home? Yeah. Billy, you all right? Billy, you all right? Just a little dizzy. Wow, he's dizzy. I was definitely dizzy for a while. Dude, they, they carried him off somewhere. They carried him off somewhere. Right now, Billy actually got a little overheated. He got a little heat exhaustion. And uh, he's chilling out right now, trying to cool off. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can send him home. home. Hopefully you can send him home? Yeah. And remember, you know, you're a paramedic, so uh, you want to help him right now, right? No. No, you just want to get through this. You ready? Yes. Here we go. Go in, get the Six Flags the fastest, and avoid the attack dog. All right, in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Chad, the Chad. I'm sitting in the ambulance. Chad just ran. You got 59 seconds. That's got me a little worried, but uh, I got a little more faith in the dogs than I do in uh, Frank. So yeah. I think I'm gonna be okay. Hopefully. The good news is, congratulations, you automatically yes. advance. Since you beat Billy's time, 59 seconds, excellent time. Now Frank, you know what you gotta do. <sighs> Oh man, how's it going? You look like you're a little worn out. <laughs> what happened? A little, a little tired, hot. man. A little tired. A little hot. A little dehydrated. A little warm. Yeah. Right. What do you think is gonna happen with Frank over there? I think he'll probably do all right. I mean, to be honest, I'm hoping the bulldog knocks him on his ass. I'm hoping the Doberman just you know, tackles him. I slipped some beef jerky in his pants. He wasn't looking. So. <laughs> all nice. Good. You hear that, Frank? I hear it. That's all for you, baby. They warmed him up for me. All right, Billy, if he beats one minute and nine seconds, you're going home. Let's get to it then. Are you ready, Frank? You're going to take the ambulance or are you going to walk? Oh, you're going to take the ambulance or are you going to walk? I hope they oh. kept the engine running. My, my money's on the dogs, buddy. My money's on the dogs. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. <laughs>
bulldog hit me the first time, and we're struggling, tug of war. All I'm thinking is time, time. I gotta drag him, I gotta drag him. The more I tried to drag him, it was just dragging me down to the ground. Well, the good news is, you bolted through very fast. You were doing really good. The bad news is, the bulldog got you, took you down. Sorry, man. I'm not feeling disappointed because I know I ran my hardest, pushed my hardest. It's just disappointing not to go to the end. Okay, well, congratulations to four of you. You all did a good job, and let's get out of here and see what tomorrow I was just talking about. Right. Come on, let's do it. For the second stunt, I am open to eating whatever I have to eat in order to get the job done, or laying in whatever I have to lay in in order to get the job done. I'm going to do it. I really don't believe that Kate is going to be able to outlast everybody. I honestly, though, would prefer to have Kate make it to the end because I think she's going to be a little easier than the other two to beat. Chad might be a little bit too cocky at times. Um, he's got that little spark in his eye that kind of looks at us and says, all right, guys, no, you're no match for me. So, I mean, if we get his head out of it, I think we might be able to take him. I hope that my competitors see the dehydration incident and maybe start to look past me and maybe worry about the other three competitors because that will, that will definitely give me an advantage. Well, today we're back again at the Sheriff's Training Facility, and today you will have to endure one of the toughest challenges every recruit must face, exposure to CS gas. <laughs> this single canister of CS gas can disperse a crowd of 100 in a matter of seconds. This is how it's gonna work. One at a time, you're each gonna enter the Chemical Agents Training Center. A safety officer will release a canister of gas. You must see how long you can stay in the building. The three contestants that last the longest will move on to the next round. The person with the shortest time is going home. We have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Billy, you are lucky number one. All right, wow. Wow. I know Ooh. you're bad with heat. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do with this? This is gonna be rough. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, come with me. Let's go. Just in case you guys know, if anything happens, you guys, you guys happen to fall outside the realm of my practice as a paramedic, I won't help you. <laughs> oh, we pre we don't appreciate that, but okay. will not help. <laughs> will not help. No CPR? Well, this is the deal. You're going to have a button in your hand. When you hold on to the button, the light will be green. As soon as the canister is dropped, that's when the time starts. Okay. Hold on to that button as long as you possibly can, all right? The three people that hold on to it the longest are moving on to the next round. One person's going home. As soon as you release the button, the clock stops. The light turns red, and they're going to get you out of there. All right. Okay? All right. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Come on, you got to redeem yourself from <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah, i got to redeem myself from yesterday. Let's All go. All right, you ready? Good luck. Thanks a lot. You're going to get a little of it at just standing out here. You get a taste really, of it. It's really short. He popped the canister. Here we go. How you feeling, Billy? All right. Yeah, there it is. Mm. Got, got wind of that real quick. I'm getting it already. Yeah, this is not. Coming up on 30 seconds. <coughs> Dude, don't rub your eyes. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Step over to the cars for me. Step over by the cars. <coughs> Yo, I'm, I moved away from the building. We got gas. Wow. I want to rub my eyes. Don't rub your eyes.
dude. <laughs> Don't rub your eyes. <laughs> guys, guys, step over to the cars for me. Step over by the cars. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm, I moved away from the building. We got gas. Wow. I want to rub my eyes. Don't rub your eyes. One minute, 30 seconds, Billy! When you breathe in the gas, you feel it in your lungs, and you want to almost vomit. Your nose is running profusely. You want to spit everywhere. The pain you feel when the gas actually hits your eyes and nose is like having rubbing alcohol poured on a wound times 10. If it makes you feel any better, we all took it. <laughs> wow. We were standing out here, and a breeze took it right in my face. <laughs> Everybody got it. They got a taste of it. The reason why your arms are out is because the sweat glands underneath your arms are more susceptible to the CS gas. They don't want you to irritate it. They don't want you to okay. keep your arms stretched out. Yeah. I don't want anything else irritated on my body right yeah, now. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> All right, man. Well, a minute and 31 seconds is very respectable. Good job. <laughs> I took three seconds of it in the face. And I was running like a little girl. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good time in there. All right, Kate. All right. Think you learned anything? Yeah, I learned that it's really going to be painful. Yeah? <laughs> yep. All right, Kate, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Come on, let's go. I think she's the wuss. <laughs> I really don't think she's going to last I don't think, I don't think she's going to make it. You got a blast of it in the face. How was it? Definitely painful. Definitely painful? Definitely not looking forward to it, but definitely know what to expect now. <laughs> OK, the time starts when the canister gets popped. Good luck. Thanks. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, the canvas just pop. No. I don't think she's gonna handle it. She took one blast in the face already. I just don't see it happening. How you doing, Kate? Doing all right. I don't know. She's tough, man. Yeah. She's pretty tough. <coughs> Come on. One minute! Drop it! Take a deep breath, Kate. Don't listen to them, Kate! Come on out, Drop Kate. Drop it! Hang in there, Kate! Drop it! Come on out, Kate. 115! You're doing great, Kate! Oh, man. Every man on the East Coast want you. Want you bad. <laughs> don't, no, 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 don't touch anything. You're automatically in tomorrow. You did fantastic. One minute, 34 seconds. How you doing? You all right? No? I'm going to throw up. You got to throw up? Just hold on like 10 more seconds. It'll, That's it. You got it gets easier it. every it's second, finals. Kate. Don't try this at home. <laughs> this really is not fun. Do you feel more encouraged? Watching Kate do it for uh, oh, longer than Billy? Yes, most yes. definitely. I feel very you encouraged. You think that you're in her league? I think I can. You think you can hang get, in there? I think you can get with her. Well, yes. This is it. You ready yeah. to do it? About as ready as I'll ever be. Ooh, I've heard that before. <laughs> okay, come now. with me. Right. Let's go. Can't wish you good luck today. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't. Here she goes. Billy's last shot right seconds, here. Seven. Here we go. Take a deep breath. How you doing, Brandy? You all right? Oh. <laughs> Breathe in nice through the lungs. <laughs> 
Billy's counting on you. Come on, Brandy. She's rocking herself it. back and forth. <laughs> Come on, Brandy. Take a deep breath. Come on, Brandy. You're doing great. It's looking rough for you, Billy. I'm sorry, man. Hang in there, girl. Going home, man. Wow. On the bubble, on one the bubble. minute and 31 seconds look pretty good. Now all Chad has to do is beat 131, but he wants to do more than that. Going for two. To go for two. You ready to do it? As ready as I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a theme. Come on, let's go. All right. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is dropped. Okay. Billy, if uh, he does it, she's home. Yeah, I know. How you doing? I'm doing great. Tear it up for the men. 45 seconds. Come on now. Let's do it up. Quit talking! <laughs> ain't no thing. Oh, wow. It ain't no thing. One minute! They let the gas go yet? Oh, Billy. Stay strong, Chad. 115! <laughs> Come on, Chad! 130! <laughs> oh, sorry. Hang in there, Chad. <laughs> One forty four. Bad news is, Brandy beat you. I know. By five seconds. She's a tough girl. The good news is, you make it to the finals. And the bad news for Billy is, it's hasta la vista. Doing this walk of shame was actually pretty hard because I expect to win. I am a competitor. I probably didn't push myself as far as I could have, but that's part of the game. Congratulations to all three of you. You make it into the finals, and tomorrow one of you is going to walk away with $50,000. Now, let's get out of here and get y'all cleaned up. Come on. Right. One person that for me would give me a little bit of self-gratification beating would be Chad. I just think it would be great to have a girl beat someone like Chad who didn't think they had it in him. If I were to lose to Kate, I would think I would feel embarrassed deep down inside just because 
I still just don't feel that she's the competitor I should have to worry about. I sat in a room full of gas for a minute and 49 seconds. I had dogs bite me. Going to the last stunt, my first focus is bragging rights. That's so big for me. What's up? What's up, Joe? How are you? This is it. Yes, it Welcome is. to the finals. Thanks. Congratulations to the three of you. You've been attacked by dogs, blasted with tear gas. <laughs> and now today, one of you is going to walk away with $50,000. Here is your final stunt. That car carrier will be traveling approximately 40 miles an hour. You will drive that car up the ramp and into the back of the carrier. Oh if you God. fail to get the car up the ramp and into the back of the carrier before the end line, or if you flip the car during the process, you'll be eliminated. But if you are the one contestant that pulls your car into the carrier the fastest, you will win $50,000 today. We have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Chad, you are lucky number one. You a good driver, buddy? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, Chad, this is your chance to redeem yourself for not hitting two minutes yesterday. <laughs> hey, I know. Now, what would bother you more, that you didn't make the two minutes or that a girl drives better than you? Oh, well, this is for the money, so it's got to be for the driving. Just as long as one of us beats him. I don't know about up. you, but I'm planning on shutting having a person who can be me, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a girl thing initially, definitely. So you a good driver? I hope so. I mean, we make uh, some pretty drastic moves in some of the ambulances, so hopefully that will help me out. Do you do the driving in yeah. the ambulance? Yes. Okay, the clock starts when the horn honks, the clock stops, and your car is all the way on the carrier. Okay. All right, you ready to do this? Buddy? I'm ready. Good luck, my man. Thank you. Watch closely. The sooner he finishes, the sooner I can go home with my money. The sooner you finish, I can go home with the money. Okay, we're rolling. Here he goes. Remember, it starts with the horn and it ends as soon as you pull in. Remember, it starts with the horn and it ends as soon as you pull in. Yeah! Woo! Oh, he did that real wow, quick. Wow, wow. Ten seconds. seconds. That was ridiculous. Just nailed it. Wow, that was perfect. I got a great application on the brakes, and I slid in what seemed like inches right behind the back of the truck. As soon as I lined up behind the truck, I just gunned it. But I knew I couldn't hesitate for one second on this stunt. Ted! Whoa! Get in here, dude. Ten seconds. Pretty sporty, my man. I hope so. I mean, I don't think it could have gone any smoother for me. Well, Kate, this is it. I'm ready. Tell Chad right now you're going to beat your I'm time. I'm going to beat your time, Chad. Oh, Sorry. what's up? If you can do it, then hey, <laughs> you know, there's nothing else I could have done. I'm going to do it. Yes. All right, let's see what happens. Come on. Let's go. Yo, dude, I can't even lie. That was... Okay. Just whatever happens, I don't care. Just please beat me. <laughs> I don't care what happens. I just spent on my nerves the whole show. Oh, wow. Okay. Just please don't let her win. All right, Kate, this is it. This is it. What are you, what are you thinking right now? What's I'm thinking it's just like a mobile car wash. A mobile car wash. I'm going to line up my tires and go right in. That's a good way of looking at it. I yep. like that. Chad's got to be feeling pretty sporty right now. I'm not. 
No? <laughs> no. No? I'm not feeling, yeah, I'm very nervous. Because it's out of your hands. Huh? Yes, exactly. What do you guys think is going to happen right now? Do you think Kate's going to do this well? Or do you think she's going to panic? What do you think? I've underestimated her every single stunt, so I'm not going to underestimate her this time. Here we go. It's for 50 grand. seconds oh and then there was two and then there was two and left with one <sighs> congratulations chad you relax there feel a little better no no not at all not at all brandy's been tough all week she beat me yesterday mm. hopefully she won't beat me twice well if anything it shows that you are beatable because she was only three seconds that's slower. right that's it's right possible kate very good job, but unfortunately, it was not good enough. You got it in 13 seconds. Oh, no. Very close. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Take care. Good luck. All right, girlfriend. See you later. See ya. I don't think that I hit the gas as much as I should have. I think that I wanted to make sure that I was all lined up and set to go before I went full throttle into the back of the truck. I think I was definitely perceived as the underdog from day one, but I think I proved to them that, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover, and I'm walking out of here with my head held high. It's all about Brandy right now. Do you like having pressure on you? Mm -hmm. You do, don't you? Mm -hmm. can, can you tell that? Oh, yeah, yeah, you love it. <laughs> I feed off of it. You feel like you rise to the occasion? I try to. You're gonna I rise to this occasion? That's the plan. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. What are you thinking about right now? What's going through your head? Um, quickness, accuracy, and beating Chad. Is this killing you? It's killing I'm dying right now. I just, one little mistake is all it's you gotta make. Failure is not an option. This is it. Absolutely, without a doubt, you got through the dog attack, you got through the tear gas, Woo! you got the fastest time on this, and you are the Fear Factor champion. Congratulations, and evidently fear is not a factor for you. Thank you. Yeah!